what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? According to a former senator from Colorado, Donald Trump, your president, is scheming to retain power in the event of an electoral loss in November. Tim Wirth published an op-ed in Newsweek where he lays out his theory, apparently inspired in part by HBO's adaptation of the Philip Roth novel, The Plot Against America. The former Democratic senator begins with an allegation that Trump will attempt to retain power through voter suppression. Roth alleges there's a strategy to suppress voter turnout by purging voters, especially inner city voters, from registration rolls and from mail-in voting. He also believes physical polling locations will be limited, especially in urban areas, in an effort to create long lines on election day and to discourage voting. Y'all believe that? I do. Anything that involves criminal activity with Trump name attached, I believe it. I believe it 100%. He ain't got to twist my arm. But you know what's weird about these media reports? Yesterday's news was Trump plans to drop out because he fears he won't win. Today's news is Trump won't leave if he loses. <laughs> Crazy, right? You know, if your strategy is to stop others from voting rather than convince them that you are the right person for the job because you have the right policies for the country, then you are not the right person for the country. And this is what's happening with a lot of these Republicans. They're shaking in their boots. They're scared to death because they don't think that they can win fair and square. When I first got news of this story, I went straight to the Constitution. What does the Constitution say about a bitter president who loses and refuses to leave office? Well, the 20th Amendment to the United States Constitution says in Section 1, the terms of the president and the vice president shall end at noon on the 20th day of January. If the election is contested and there is no decision by January 20, 2021, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, becomes president until the contested election is done. This is not Russia for all of you Trump supporters out there. If Trump refuses to leave office, he will be forced out by the military. I am not a fan of the military. But I would definitely join to help get him out. Oh man, I'd be on the front line. Man, I, I want man. I, I, I'd go through basic training. What, what basic training take? Thirty days? What, what is thirty days? Nine? I do it all in one day. Everything, give it all. Put everything on me. I want to qualify as soon as possible. Send me in. You might, in fact, send me in by myself. Oh, I'd go get him. I do it for the country. Do it for my fellow man and woman, child. I do it for the future of the nation. Send me in. I do the job without hesitation. I wouldn't even, and I would, I'd be reckless with it too. Whoever get hit, get hit. I don't care. Shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Yeah, collateral damage. Y'all know how it go. This is war. He ain't got no choice but to get up out of that. Can't put nothing past him, though. Can't put nothing past him at all. But I want you 
self-entitled Trump supporters to know. I know some of y'all thinking, yeah, let's get them. We got the guns. We got the guns. They can't do nothing to us. Whatever Trump says, I'm going to do it because I'm a robot. Trump got all the money. He ain't going to die. It's going to be us that die. I'm a dummy. I'm poor. I'm a dummy. I'm not that smart. Maybe I'm not poor, but I'm dumb. I'm just a follower. These elite people tell me what to do, and I just get right in line because I'm dumb like that. Let me tell y'all something. All you out there who think that Trump is too big to go down. He's going to get up out of that White House on January 20, 2021. He got to go. He will be gone. He will leave that White House. Vertically or horizontally. It's his choice. No more talk. What the haters talking about?